Welcome to our lesson, ladies and gentlemen. Now, today we're going to be focusing on drying or evaporation processes. Now, the, ma the material balances that entail evaporation or drying. So, let's see how do you solve the material balances in relation to this particular concept. Now, let's go to the statement and then we can see how do we solve it. So, for drying processes in a small chemical plant, in a small scale plant, a multiple stage evaporator concentrates a weak sodium chloride solution from 3% to 18%. So they are concentrating this uh, particular solution. So it's weaker, coming in weaker, and it's concentrated to a more higher concentration of 18%. And processes 200 kilograms per hour of solution per day. How much product is made per day? How much water is evaporated per day? So two things are actually required here. How much product is made once uh, that particular material has been concentrated and how much of the water escapes or how much of the water evaporates when the particular evaporation takes place. So the similar thing, now the first thing that you do here, you sketch the problem. You first sketch the problem so you can sketch this problem. So there, you can have your evaporator there. As your evaporator so now what's coming you are processing 200 this processing 200 kilograms is coming into the system okay so you can take that as your f which is your feed coming into the system 200 kilograms per hour okay and then that's coming into the system now there's only three percent of sodium chloride coming into the system that's salt then you can just Subtract that then for water it's 97 percent because you have to find how much water is there so you just subtract that from 100 to get the 97 that's how we get the 97 so if you're given three percent it's 100 subtract that three percent then you get 97 percent okay so now what is escaping here uh, whatever is evaporating it's the water so the water is evaporating you can make that a w stream so how much of the water here the water is 100% because it's only water that is actually evaporating, not the salt. So 100% H2O water. And then the product here in P, you can see here in P, P is our product, final product. Okay, that's also what we need to find out. So the sodium chloride, we are told that in P we've got 18%. It's going to be concentrated to 18%. So which means our water, our H2O, is going to be 82%. 82%. So you can see that also gives 100%. So now your, 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 your mass fraction should always add up to 100%. It can't be more than 100% uh, of the mass percentages. Okay. So remember this is also solids and liquids. So we use mass fractions and not mole fractions. Now... The first thing that we do once we've sketched, we go and write the bases. Our bases, which is the reference of calculation, that's the amount we're given, which is 200 kilograms per hour. So now, how do we go about solving that? So we start with the overall balance. Overall. balance okay overall balance is going to be what's coming into the system and then what's leaving this so here you've got this f coming into the system however you've got w leaving the system and p leaving the system so f is equals to in this case f is equals to what's leaving the system w plus p okay so in equals to out as simple as that for material balances in equals to out okay so this is in this is out just always bear that in mind okay so if you want you just easily understand it better now this one here you can actually substitute the f because you have it is 200 equals to w plus plus p 
you can write it in that form overall balance now you can go now and conduct your component balance so component balance balance you choose the component so we can base our component balance on sodium chloride since it's the component of utmost importance so sodium chloride which is the salt when we write the component balance remember composition is written in the form of x f sodium chloride multiplied by total f equals to x Okay, in W, sodium chloride, multiply by W, plus X in P of sodium chloride, multiply by P. Okay, now the good thing here now, we do not have, we do not have sodium chloride in W, if you can check. In W, we do not have sodium chloride. There's no sodium chloride. So now, in this particular stream, we do not have sodium chloride. Okay, so we eliminated. There's no sodium chloride in this stream. So let's go back. So what do we do? We're going to eliminate. So we eliminate this stream for now. Okay, so the balance simplifies to XNA, XNAC equals to XP. And is ZL times P. Okay. So now we can just substitute in this balance here. Three percent, which is 0 0.03, multiplied by 200 equals to. We know the mole fraction, the mass fraction here, uh, rather multiplied by P. So we can determine P now. <laughs> So by simplifying this from our calculations, we get that P is 33.3 kilograms per hour. So that's the amount of P. So the P here, living here, so how much product is made per day? Okay, so that's, that's the P there. Okay, so we got the product made per hour. Okay, you can easily convert it to day. You're going to leave it in form of days. This is how much product we have per day. As simple as that. So now, if you want to find how much water is evaporated in this whole process, it's actually simple. Since now you have, you can actually go back to this equation. Okay. And then now you know that this is 200 and this is this is 33.3 p is 33.3 okay so once there is that so which means w w becomes 166.7 kilograms per hour okay and then now you can actually just apply your unit conversion to say one hour is equal to 24 hours uh, per day then you can actually convert that to how much product has been formulated per day and then the amount of water evaporating is 166.7 kilograms per hour that's the amount of water evaporating so it, when you look at it it's actually very interesting and you can actually easily uh, sort it out as yeah, possible so thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time